Hello and welcome to this Python tutorial. Today we'll be playing a game of Snap. It'll be a computerized version, but this will be part one and then where we will just be getting this concept together and the computer will be playing it and then I'll be doing a second part whereby you will hopefully have player one and player two and then you'll get the cards when you snap, as in the proper game. But at the moment, part one will be a computerized version of Snap. Brilliant. Awesome. Incredible. So, subscribe if you like this video. There'll be plenty more, especially card ones. I love doing packs of cards in these in these in Python. So awesome. So the first thing we've got to do is import some functions, import some toolkits, I mean, and then we're gonna create decks of cards, shuffle the decks of cards and then draw them out and then have them say snap and print the names of the cards they snap to when it happens. So for this, I'm only going to make it say snap if it equals the same number. Otherwise, there may not even be a snap at all. So if it's just equals the same number, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be the same number and the same suit, just the same number. However, when it snap happens, it will print out the exact card, number and suit number and suit for both of both decks of cards. So I'll be using two decks of cards for this. So let's play. Let's write it first and then let's play. So first thing I do is import the iter tools function and the random function. Right module toolkits. Why do I keep saying function? They are toolkits. And then we're going to create our decks of cards. So card deck one is simply using the itertools dot product function and then we're going to have every instance of ace to king for spade, club, diamond and heart. Notice one thing I've got to point out is that the ace to king is zero, it's the first element of the list and the spade, the club, diamond and the spade, club, diamond, heart is the first element, it's the second element of the list so it'll be one. And that's card deck one, and we do exactly the same thing for card deck two. Now we have two decks of cards. The problem is they are in, you know, ace of spades, ace of club, ace of diamonds, ace of hearts, two of spades. That's how they're in systematic order. We want to shuffle them now. So by shuffling them, we are then randomizing them. And so in order to shuffle them, we've got to do use the random dot shuffle function. It has a function called shuffle in it, so very useful. And now we just shuffle them and then so now both decks of cards are shuffled so random shuffle deck card one and the same card two next thing i'm going to create a list for my deck for first deck and a list for my second deck basically means i've put those shuffled decks now into a list and then we can print this list now to see if it works see on the output we have, they're shuffled, they're not the same. And now we are going to draw, we're going to basically cycle through the cards and then snap to ones which are equal in number. And then we're going to print out the ones which are equal to each other. We're going to print out the number and the suit. So number in card deck one equals the, the number in card deck two and we'll draw out the exact card for number one and the exact card for the card deck two so we're going to do it between range one and 52 because there's 52 cards in the deck ah one and 53 it should be and now let us snap it Ah, what's happened here? Oh, list index out of range. So it was 52. There we go. Snap. See that there? Let's um, clear this. Let's, let's go new console. Let's do this again. Make it really clear. Clarity is key. Oh, stupid. Okay, let's get rid of these prints. That's what's going wrong. Okay, see that? There's only one snap there, and it was a six of hearts and a six of clubs. Can you see that? 
on my output. Let's do it again. The next one had, oh, we had two kings of hearts. So that was an identical, identical snap that were in, in uh, number and in suit. Brilliant. See, this works really well. And we can change it so that we, if we want it to snap to the number and the suit, we can just add, instead of here, zero, we can say if card date i naught, and then add card deck i one. So we're cycling through i, taking the first and second instance. change that to card deck 2, print snap. You see there, six of hearts. We just keep cycling it through and we get exact, exact um, card, cards that are equal to each other. But if we just get rid of this, then we're much more likely to get a snap and make the game much more enjoyable. Because otherwise, realistically, you'll be cycling through all of them. So, I really hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Really fun, really awesome game. Subscribe if you like it, and don't forget to check out more of my videos. Thanks very much.